Hello, Lynn Vandarians, all of you on Lynn Vander Studios that's watching this video. This is the first of a vlog thing that I'm doing. Uh, it's a designer diary kind of thing. Uh, and I just want to let everyone know that uh, I know we've made a lot of Buffy fans mad because at my small convention, GenreCon, uh, we had guests uh, that were there that um, we then had an exclusive party and at the party we released um, a small uh, print run of cards that you didn't have access to and there was, a, there was quite a fiasco on that one and we received, I received some crazy messages being like, why can't I get it? And Because we're never gonna put them to print. So uh, the whole point of this vlog is to, is to open up and show you what you missed, joking, and, uh, and show you what you can get. Not very many, so I, I do apologize. But we are going to, we do have an overage of them and we have signed copies. And that's all we can do is have the signed copies um, for you. The people that were at the party were the only ones that are getting them, but we did say there were only 60 of each of these in print that will ever be in print, ever. And so that means that you will be one of 60 to get these. And we only have about 15 or 20 of each of these left because the party capacity was, was 40 and we moved, we moved them all. Uh, that being said, uh, check this out. There's Xander. Now you already got Xander, right? Uh, Xander's already in the game. Da, 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 da. Actually, it's more like, this is the man that I, wait. This is the girl that, I'm the worst. How did I not know this? I sang it with Nick. Um, wow. <laughs> Let's just chalk that up as a fail. I would probably shut the camera off and, and try and re-record this, except for that I kind of want this to be a live, not live, but I want this to be a, a realistic, authentic feed, thanks. So here's Xander. The difference is, uh, the only difference is, is that Xander, um, there are differences in the character abilities and stuff, but the big difference is this little guy here has an eye patch. It's eye patch Xander. <laughs> Seeing as though, oh, I was supposed to show you that. Seeing as though uh, uh, Xander himself uh, isn't in the expansion because he's in the main game, uh, and the expansion uh, Friends and Frenemies, which is coming out in a couple months, or a month or two, I believe. I don't know when Jasper's releasing it, but very, very soon. It's been delivered, it's in the print press, it's, I don't know where it is. Shipping, maybe, I don't know. But I know that Friends and Frenemies is coming out. I know we're releasing Friends and, it'll be the big, one of the big releases at Gen Con this year, alongside uh, Cowboy Bebop and Dragon Ball Z, which we designed. Um, this Xander card has the eye patch, So we decided to do an extra Xander card. Um, the special, the, well, the quote is, uh, I might need a parrot. <laughs> Anyways, and down below we have, everything is, else is the same, except for the special ability. And his special ability is, copy a character's special ability after they use their special ability, even if it's not your turn. How cool is that? And these particular cards have all been signed by Sir Nicholas Brendan. Yes, uh-huh. These are signed. We've got 15, maybe, maybe less of them, that we will, this bag is all that is remaining of the Xanders and other. And if you want them, we are going to be setting up a small buy now button down below. The buy now button will have a limited supply, so get them while they're hot. And yeah, this is, this is it. This is the Xander. And then, it comes with a standee too, a new standee, so you get your little Xander standee. So these will be packaged up and shipped out to the very few that managed to buy into it. I, I apologize if you don't get one because you don't see this video, you don't follow our feed, um, you know, we weren't at GenreCon, you couldn't come to Guelph, you don't live in Canada, you live in the UK, like our one back, uh, friend who, I was gonna say backer, it's not a backer, our one friend who was quite adamant on getting one, and you're getting one. So um, <clears throat> then we did something because Charisma is a friend and uh, she's great and we had some great times hanging out. And we wanted to do something special for Charisma when she was in town. And one of the cool things that we did was we developed, uh, you won't get Charisma's character Cordelia in any of the uh, Buffy games, unfortunately. Uh, she wasn't in the core game, and, and her response was, 
why not? But you know, she wasn't in the core game and she's not in the expansion. And the reason why is because we really wanted Cordy to be special in her own game where she is special and quite the lead in. And we know what that's called, right? Hashtag angel. Uh, and we're, we're in the process of finishing up the final uh, sections of angel and therefore angel is earmarked unofficial this is the unofficial kind of chat angels earmarked for gen con and uh potentially cordelia herself will be at gen con we're just working out the details but you might be able to meet her at gen con she and i have to finish the uh, arrangements on that and then jasco has to prepare for it that being said da 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 da, da the exclusive Super rare, one of 60, Cordelia Chase, Buffy the Vampire Slayer cards. This is a hot item. And it is signed, they are all signed. So unfortunately you can't buy a non-signed one. So if you're like me and you want non-signed, non-marked up copies and marked up copies, your only option is uh, signed ones. Oh, I'm, 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 I might be lying, I might be lying. Because she did sign a bunch, but I don't think she signed all of them. Oh my God, <laughs> I have one unsigned one for me because I need one. And I think, just bear with me for a second. Oh, you guys, seriously, who are the lucky fans? I only have four unsigned Cordelia Chases. That being said, I only have three unsigned Cordelia Chases because I am taking one of them. Perks of the job. So I have three unsigned Cordelia Chases, which I'll put up as well. And I have um, probably about 10 or so signed Cordelia Chases for Buffy. There you go. What a cool signature. She just kills it. Uh, well, let's talk a bit about Cordelia. What does she do? So we have fresh original art from the same artist, Cordelia Chase art. This is the this art will probably be the same one that we're going to use in Angel. But uh, there's a Cordelia Chase, and then um, her ability, as you can see. Uh, so she starts in Sunnydale High. She starts with the cross. Uh, she has all the rest of the regular abilities. Her quote is: "Tact is just not saying true stuff." It's just pfft, wow. Tact is just not saying true stuff. I'll pass. That's Cordelia. Her quote. And her ability, and everyone's just saying, get to the damn ability, I wanna see what the ability is. This round, after a player performs an event check, you may take a wound to retake the event check. So, she took wounds for the party, you know the move, you know what happened in the show. And uh, her ability, I thought her, I thought her ability needed to be something that was uh, akin to the fact that she's basically like a sacrifice to the team, she's always, there with the team, and even though she was kind of bitchy and all that stuff, she uh, she really took it for the team a lot. And then, of course, an angel, I mean, she really took it for the team there. And she's always been just, she's just, she literally, she's my second favorite character in the entire series. Second favorite character. And I told her that too. I said, you're my second favorite character. And uh, she's like, wow, who's your first? And it better not be Nikki. And I said, no, no, it's, it's, uh, it's Alexis Denisov, it's Wesley Wyndham Price. He's my favorite of all, so now you know. And I bawled, spoiler alert, I bawled at the end of Angel, like, like a baby. I cried a lot for her too, but I, spoiler alert, but I, uh, you know, spoiler alert is supposed to come before the spoiler, yeah. So anyways, this round, after a player performs an event check, you may take a wound to retake the event check. Pretty OP. Let's you get through those, those nasty checks that you failed. She's perfect. Perfect support character mitigation. So, you get your Cordelia Chase. And she comes with a snazzy little little uh, standee as well because you need the standee because they've never been printed. Ah. Ooh, hey look at that, the lovebirds. The lovebirds, cheater, cheater. The lovebirds, I mean it was with Willow, but I mean. So, uh, there you go, Cordelia Chase, one of a kind, probably 10 left or so. Let's find out how many are left. Just because I keep quoting 14, 10, 12, 100. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 on a squeaky chair. 9, 
9. I'm holding 9 because I'm trying to sort out the cordies here. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have 16 signed Xanders. Um, sorry, 15 because I'm getting one. 15 signed Xanders that are going to go out. And I have um, 1, 2. And I, I already gave some to the rest of the crew. So don't worry, Josh and Aaron are also being included. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, 11. So I've got three unsigned Cordelia chases and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight signed Cordelia chases. So we're going to have a total of 11 Cordies for sale um, and we're going to have 15 Zan uh, alternate um, eye patch Xanders for sale. And uh, that's, that's, that's how it's going to be. That's how we're going to do it. That's how you are going to get what you want. So when they, when the, the, the sales go live, um, what we'll do is uh, we'll, we'll have you purchase online. There'll be a bulk shipping cost uh, for the, uh, the bubble wrap and stuff to make sure that they get to you nice and safely. And then you will be one of the few that have the Cordy and the Xander. And we're really, really excited to, uh, to let you know that, that we appreciate everything that you've done. Um, buying the Buffy and, and supporting Buffy. We've, we've moved tens of thousands. We're on 50,000 or more at this point copies, which is for a board game. I mean, like, let's face it, my first board game, Albion's Legacy, uh, it's, it's maybe, maybe uh, a thousand backers and over the course of uh, several campaigns. And then, a, sorry, camera cut out. Uh, there's like a, a thousand backers and then an additional 3,000 copies sold. So, you know, we moved to about 4,000 copies of Albion's Legacy. It's pretty good, but 4,000? 40,000! I mean, fan bases, right? Relatively speaking. I mean, it's no Cards Against Humanity, which has probably moved a million copies, but it's definitely uh, very heartwarming to see. And, we, you know, Round Table, which is my, my, my bar here, my game tavern, it's, uh, it only sells it sells uh, Buffy's a lot, um, and I don't even tell people that I made it. <laughs> They're just like, oh, can you recommend a game? I need a good cooperative game that feels like this. I'm like, oh, well, you got Pandemic, you got this, and there's Buffy, oh, I love Buffy, yeah, well, you should check it out, it's a great game, yeah, yeah, can you show us how to play it? Sure, well, I show them how to play it, and then uh, they're like, I don't know how to decide, and they say, well, I'll make it easy for you, I'll sign that one, and then they, <laughs> and then they buy it, so. Um, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully this was an informative um, little vlog. I believe there will be more coming as time goes on. I don't know how uh, <clears throat> this is going to be, how regular, but we're going to try and do this on a fairly regular basis. Uh, there's your update on Cordy and Xander. So, slay on Scooby Gang. Peace.